Welcome to the beautiful town of San Remo, right next to the glorious Phillip Island where the Hemsworth brothers themselves grew up and famous things like the Penguin Parade. What else is famous about Phillip Island? This is my mum, by the way. Hi. What's famous about Phillip Island? What do you like about it the most? Just everything. Oh, Nathan, delete that. That's terrible. <laughs> Be specific. What do you like about Phillip Island? The ocean, the savageness of it all, the beautiful cliff faces. The savageness of it all? Yes. You gotta be the natural. Case, be just be yourself. Can you please start again? <laughs> no, no. No, you gotta be natural. I don't Come like on. like it when I'm on camera. You know that. Okay, how do I sum it up here? Okay, Phillip Island is in San Remo, it's just a place you just get away just to chill and relax. And as soon as you start driving down here and you see the ocean and the bay in the distance, it just has this calming effect. There's lots of wildlife, ragged cliffs, crushing waves. What's not to love? There's the beach, go swimming, boogie boarding, you can learn how to surf, some great places to eat. And it's just a fabulous place to get some r and So we've had this, our little retreat for about 14 years in the family and it sort of gets shared. And I've spent many a new years here. And when I was younger, maybe like, nine or ten I remember there would be these like these other kids that I'd be friends with in the caravan park and then there'd be sort of like rival kids and we'd all get into like sort of I don't know like territorial disputes and whenever somebody got upset and then told the rest of the gang we would fill up a bunch of water bombs and then go to their caravans in the other end of the park and then bomb their caravan in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many stories. I'll show you some really cool views. So we're about to go to Pyramid Rock, which is this beautiful spot on the island. And we're gonna go over the bridge and I'll show you some of the really cool views. found on the side of the road a beautiful beautiful echidna they are very very shy and they are a form of anteater native to Australia so look at them hiding so cute oh my gosh they're adorable I'm trying to hide from us oh god oh, that is hilarious. she just winded the window up with my arm on it oh my god Oh, it's literally, I was just telling my mum, it's on my Bumble profile, that that's what my personal hell is, is when the driver of a car winds up the window without seeing whose arm is on it first. Oh. And then out there we have the wild and woolly ocean. Wild and woolly. It is beautiful though. We've got a couple tourists. And then way over there at that little point, that's the Cape Wollamai Walk. And then Pyramid Rock is somewhere. Where is where is the rock? It's down there. Okay. Okay. It's very windy today, and because it is kind of cold, there's not too many people, which is kind of nice. It's nice to talk to people for the vlogs, but it's also nice on those days where there aren't too many people. So right behind me here, so we are at the very, uh, the very end of, uh, I think it's called Western Port Bay, and then we have Port Phillip Bay further down. 
that way and you should be able to see a cargo ship way off in the distance that will be going into Melbourne itself and if you were to go all the way down there through the ocean which is Bass Strait you would eventually get to Tasmania I've never been to Tasmania before maybe we'll do a video there at some point um, but it's just a beautiful beautiful area and in the summer there are some amazing beaches that the family loves to go to one of them in particular called Smith's Beach just has really nice waves and people just flock there in December January February when it gets really really hot um, but even though it is the end of spring so the equivalent of May in the northern hemisphere Melbourne does is known for having extremely unpredictable weather and this weekend is an example of that it was hot for multiple days and then now it's like this all of Australia's sort of natural shrubbery and plants and then a nice cliffside over there it's just beautiful so many walking tracks in Australia, you'll never ever find a shortage of <laughs> walking tracks over here. It is just beautiful. And don't get me wrong, you won't see them very often, but in and amongst this grass and shrubbery, there are snakes and there are spiders, but you won't see them very often. So these guys over here are wallabies. They look very similar to kangaroos, but they are a little bit smaller. They kind of had this brownish, reddish belly and they are very shy. Look at him. <laughs> and that one over there in the distance, so shy, so shy. The bigger kangaroos, you can get close to wallabies you're far less likely to actually get up close to one <laughs> so that little thing over there that is pyramid rock and we just walked from kind of that area over there so we've gone a pretty good distance so far not going to go into it but Mum and I just having a chat about our past traumas. <laughs> As mum and sons do, just in general, while we admire this amazing view and people are building $5 million houses so they can see the water, which is fair enough. Damn. I'm sure the internet would be terrible out here though. I'm pretty much guaranteed. All right, mum said that's a purple hen. So I guess it's a purple hen. It's a purple hen. All right, it's a purple hen. Yeah. Wait, can you repeat what you just said? Oh yeah, I remember. Is it somewhere in the bushes here? Yeah, that's right. What year does that say? 97? Yeah, so this poor girl who I probably, I could imagine, have drowned. So rest in peace. Lots of shells get put here on a regular basis in her memory. Really sad. And then when you look at the beach, you could imagine how dangerous it can get at certain times of the year. So many rocks, the waves can get enormous and um, sometimes people can go fishing on top of these rocks and then get hit by a wave and hit their head get knocked over and die it's really 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 quite sad and dangerous now obviously this is only one part of the island that we're exploring today there is another area on the southern western side called the Nobbies and the Nobbies gets very windy and has a lot of waves it's very very dangerous and I think about 20 something years ago they had to cut off access to the beach because a number of people kept getting 
washed away and dying, which is, you know, again, really sad and dangerous and dumb if people were to do it now. But then when you go to the northern side of the island, which is facing inland towards the bay, um, the water is much calmer and there are far less rocks. But because we are facing outside the bay towards the ocean, that is why it's a little bit more wild and woolly. Okay, that is supposed to be an Australia loves New York thing, <laughs> but that's supposed to be Long Island and then Manhattan and then the rest of the state, but it kind of looks like New Jersey. Be warned, we have some mature age content. That is a dead bird, I can only imagine. These are dangerous beaches for the birds of Australia, many of which are flying in the air. And it stinks, and mommy's holding, oh my god, what is that? A dead leather jacket. A dead leather jacket? It looks like a leather jacket. Okay, wow. Apparently lots of dead things on the beach. That is a dead puffer fish. Wow. All shriveled up. So Australia has no active volcanoes on the entire continent. However, there used to be volcanoes a very long time ago, and I can only imagine that these are remnants. Um, of lava that has turned into stone over the years. So, so interesting. Very cool. And in some of these rock pools, they are pretty rare to find. You get them, you can get them around Victoria, New South Wales and in Queensland, but in some of these rock pools in here, there's a chance you might find a blue ringed octopus. I'm not going to find one because my camera is about to die and there's a view I want to show you that in little rock pools like this just very very small ones you might find a blue ringed octopus which is I think the or one of the top three most poisonous animals on the entire planet which is crazy this time of year definitely got to be conscious about snakes but let's get up to the top Let's show you this view. Boom! There's mum. Wow. Okay, so we are back at the caravan. My phone ended up dying, unfortunately. And we ended up seeing a brown snake a yellow-bellied brown snake, which is extremely dangerous, and literally the phone died right before we saw it, and that was huge, wasn't it, Mum? Certainly was. It was absolutely, and then what else did we see? We saw a turtle. Three uh, echidnas. Three echidnas, and um, anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, so we saw a few more animals on the way out of there, and, um, and now we're going to go and get some fish and chips. So... That's an Australian staple to get fish and chips. So we're gonna go do that in a minute. I really, really love our caravan park. It's just, it's so nice. When we got it back in 2008, San Remo, the area wasn't, it wasn't as popular as it is now. Um, and it's become a very, very expensive place. And a lot of people are building their holiday homes here because it's extra amazing in the summer you know with the beaches on phillip island um it's just there's something so so beautiful about it like just walking down these <laughs> these little streets and um majority of the caravans have an annex next to it meaning that it's kind of like permanently placed and we're going to go walk across to the other side of san remo through some bushes and some streets to go to the fish and chip shop, <laughs> the fish and chip shop. And there are a few ways, which way do you want to go, mom? Do you want to go the straight 
Straight through? All right. That's my favorite way. So this is our little, our little sneaky way of getting through to the other side. And then there's the beach, just amazing. And way off in the distance, those sand dunes, uh, you can go down those on boogie boards and then go into the water, which I did many times as a teenager. So much fun, very steep. Look how beautiful it is though. So beautiful in here. Done this walk a few times at night. When Jack was over a few months ago from the US, we did this walk at night. And it was a it was a it was a freaky walk because there's no lights here at night time. This is our famous fish and chip spot overlooking the bridge to Phillip Island. Just gorgeous. This is it here. It's my childhood right here. Mm -mm -mm. Because mom is the best, mom's shouting me. Can I get, uh, I'm gonna get some chips. Dim Sims, two of them, for two potato cakes. Is that cool? That's cool. All right, that's what we're getting. And vinegar as well. That's how you do fish and chips. But I never get the fish. This is called fish and chips. And there are our golden, beautiful fish and chips, dim sims, and potato cakes, along with my solo, an Aussie classic. All right, gonna leave it here for today's video. Mum, pass it off onto you. Like and subscribe. All right, thank you very much. I'll catch you guys on the flip flop.